Hello. Well. Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Yeah, I should probably go get a shave. Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we got robbed by little shitheads. Poker, a uh, barba. Let's go to the barber and get a trim, and then go do some tasks around town. I'm debating whether or not I should show the online stuff. Whoa! Watch where you're going. of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. Partner. Hello, friend. Get rich quick. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Fuck you! Come here! Come here and buy my book! My book will change your life! My book will make you who you want to be! Rich! Rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be! But you have to read the book! Yeah, and you're gonna be the only one getting rich. Bet I already have more girls than you. Hi there. Come on in. Good morning, sir. So, what do you need? Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. Fine if I do say so. Get a trim. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey there. Lady by the Ma. Now, where am I going? There's something up here. There's something here, and there's something here. I don't feel like poking around. Good God, there's always something to do in the town. Dutch can wait. Uh, you know what, let's just go to Dutch. I don't feel like looking for people, so let's just go pick up, let's go find Dutch. Good morning. morning. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Oh, why not? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Absolutely. 
Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Homeless veterans, I will proudly help that cause. And there's Mr. Vanderlyn. I feel like I can't be disrespectful to the Italian crime lord. All right, Mr. Vanderlyn. Angelo Bronte, there you are. man of honor. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh, uh. You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Ah. Run along now, boy. Gave him his pistol Is that back. The special Dutch charm I heard so much about. Relax. I got this. Okay. And Arthur is sleep deprived. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Not looking to cause trouble. They. Who are these clowns? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. What did I bear is the woman Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. I like John this guy. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. 
But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? How much? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. The thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay. Deal with some grave robbers. Sounds simple enough. What's the catch? Come on, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the sick is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Whatever is the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Now, that's not what I want either. That's what I want. That's why I don't like weapon wheels. One little d bump can completely fuck you. Oh, fun fact, in Louisiana, they typically bury their dead above ground because of floods. That's why you see Monolith's mono... what... whatever these are. I can't have it giving away my position. I'm sorry, baby.
can't think of the word for these right now. I want to say monolism, but that doesn't sound right. Certainly not a monastery. I'm gonna push your head. You wash my back. Whoa, don't disrespect the graves. Don't disrespect the graves. I see a torch light. Somebody's trying to wake him. Okay. Come on. What was that? Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Think it came from around here somewhere. I hear something in there. Set up. Damn it. How many you see? Three, four, hard to tell. You should have made Mr. Bronte. Ah! Let's bail, boys. This ain't worth it. Look out. They're making a run for it. That karma for killing the rat. That's not what I thought I was going. Alright. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty head. Let's have a look where they shot at us from. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Around in here. Like I said. Let's look around where they jump. Where do you think I'm standing, dumbass? Is 
figured there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. I have a lock breaker. Let's go around the side. Just sneak around them and try to avoid killing the law. There's someone coming. Hi. Well, I haven't, those two on the map are kind of freaking out. Easy enough to explain this to the law. Say, hey, we heard the commotion and came running. We were concerned citizens. Dude, your whistle's annoying. We're almost back. Well, I'm almost back. What happened? John died. Damn, lost here. Come on, let's see that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. I don't know why I can't use my lock breaker. I, I have a lock breaker. see me? How did you see me? Just shoot me. I'm not gonna kill, I'm not gonna make any more trouble than what's necessary. How did he see me? What, do you just see through fucking walls? I 
Can't even see where I am, let alone what's going on. Fuck this mission. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. I can't even see you. There you are. I can't even see where I am on the map. That that's a problem. Yeah, I don't like it either. I can't even really see where I'm going. All I can do is keep moving. I have to be careful because they're probably pretty pissed. God bless it all. Let's 
stick to the outskirts. Move in. Feel good. I'm just, I'm just tired. I guess. Feeling some tightness in my chest right now. That was irritating, but... Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur... Okay, good. We got the kids back. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay? Son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said he'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. So, Angelo Bronte does not harm children. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guy? Which one? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Okay, there is a weird audio this bug. He's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> oh, that replaced my hunting knife. Gray. Oh, so some of the Grays are still alive. I'm not kill on sight with the Grays. So that's good, and that body o was coming from the lantern. <laughs>
Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. And there is some money involved in that. Okay. Well. Okay, so I can't do anything with that right now. Where is Arthur's bed? Charles photograph. Interesting. I know Arthur has a cot. One of these days we'll get you singing. Oh, you don't want to hear that, I promise. Oh, but I do, Hair Strauss. I think it's the one that's got the bullet shape to it. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I gonna see what else is in store for me. But until then, I am the Dark Sarah.